Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to create PIP effect in Filmora Trail. Okay, so this is a question from one of my subscribers, hopefully. The question comes from Bebo Summons Online. Okay, so this is a question. Hey brother, I love your teaching, yet I really need to know how to use PIP in the same position and size. I do summons online and I have about 35 image, images during a 20 minute video. I create own picture in PowerPoint at the same size. I want to place them at the same place, upper left corner, downside to the same proportions. It is very easy in Final Cut Pro, but I want to start using Filmora 11. By the way, now we have Filmora 12, okay? Thanks in advance for your help. And I promised to make a new tutorial for him. And actually it is about two days ago. Sorry, I was so busy. Okay, so here's a video, the sample video. And this is the channel Bebo Summons Online. And I already subscribed to this channel because I think it is interesting to see one of my subscriber making YouTube video, okay? And this is a video. And you can see here we have a talking head video and we have an image right here about a quarter of the video size. Okay, so to create this effect or PIP effect in Filmora, it is very simple. Let's go to my Filmora trial. All right, so this is my Filmora trial. Let's create a new project uh, with this button and let's find a talking head video and some images. Okay, just click here to import. And okay, so here are all the images that I can use. Just some thumbnail image. Just click open. Okay, and let's find a talking head video. By the way, I just use an example video. Okay, just click okay, and then I can find my talking head video, the latest one for my Vietnamese channel. Okay, just click here. All right, and the next thing, you want to put your talking head video at video track number one on the timeline. Okay, just drag and drop it right here and keep the project setting. And also I will mute the audio because it is in Vietnamese. Okay, and this is the talking head video. That's nice, right? Maybe your talking head video is right here at the right corner so that you have more space here for the image. By the way, you can do the same. All right, and now we need to put the image on the timeline. Uh, firstly, I can use this one. Just drag and drop your image on top of your video. It will create a new video track. So it is video track number two. Okay, and the next thing, we want to resize this image to the corner. That's super easy, right? Just click here at the preview window, and then you want to resize it to maybe this side. Okay, and I will put it right here and let's play it. By the way, my image has a zoom and pan effect and if you don't want to have that zoom and pan effect, you can just select the crop tools here. Okay, and then you want to select crop and adjust the image if you want. And then you can click apply. Okay, and here's the PIP effect. That's nice, right? By the way, in Filmora Trail, sometimes I will add a border to this image and also a rock shadow and sometimes a special effect to this image also. Okay, in order to add a border to this image, you need to go to Effect tab right here and then you can search for border and press Enter. Okay, so here's the border. Just drag and drop it directly to your image here. So you will have a white border. If you want to change the color, all you need to do is to double click at the image here. Go to the effect tab. Here you have the border effect and you can change the color here. The size, the blur and opacity of the border also. If you want to add a drop shadow to this image, all you need to do is, is to click this image and then select basic. And then you can scroll down here and we have the drop shadow button. Just enable it and now you have a drop shadow for your image and you can select different type of shadow like soap and tie and projection and stuff like that. And you can also adjust the angle, the color of the shadow and also the distance. 
Okay, for example, I can adjust the distance like this. All right, and reduce the opacity. Let's click OK. Okay, so this is for the first image. And if you have more image, just drag and drop them onto the timeline. And then you can copy the effect from this image and paste it to the other. Okay, let's go back to my media. And for example, I can select all the image here except the first one. And then I can just drag and drop it onto the timeline. And the next thing, we want to right click at the first image. Okay. Copy the effect and then you can highlight. Oh, sorry, I just copy the video also. Okay, and then you can highlight all the image right here and right click, right click and select best effect. Okay, and here's a final PIP effect in Filmora 12. And being mentioned that you can also add transition between this image also. For example, if I want to add a transition between this image, all I need to do is to highlight all of them. And then I can go to transition. And then select the transition folder again. And we can select this slideshow and file transition that we want to use. By the way, I'm going to use a free transition effect right here. For example, we can select this one, the sweep clockwise. Just download this one. Very nice, right? And we can right click and select apply to apply this transition to all the image on the timeline. Okay, just click here and we have the clockwise transition for all the image. And let's play the video again from here. Okay. Okay. So that is how to create PIP effect in Film Water Trail. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.